It is one part retro style and two parts downright delicious. The latest social media sensation has been dubbed the Tim Burton of baking. And she's completely self-taught. Uh, self CBS2's Suzanne Marquez has the scoop. So once you've got all that done... Step into Christine McConnell's dreamy, retro, twisted world. Everything is handmade, from her delicious edible confections to her vintage 1950s-style clothing. So I just started making stuff, and I found... Now I, like, never go buy clothes. Like, I just go buy fabric, and I just make it myself. A secretary by day, she started posting photos of her hobbies online a few years ago. I didn't go to school for any of this. I don't have, like, a college degree or anything fancy. Um... I just, it was all just trial and error and like watching YouTube videos basically. So like if I had a question, YouTube was my teacher. Completely self-taught, she pushed herself and the images quickly went viral. I have like a horrifying sweet tooth and I always have so I just started making things that were like my favorite thing to make and I Oh, just sorry, realized I had a passion for it. She's created a fruit basket that's really dessert, a dinner that's actually donuts, intricate chocolate tea sets, and a Godzilla bridezilla cake. She's been called the Tim Burton of baking, and guess who she just struck up a partnership with? That was awesome. It's so cute. I'm actually going to be doing a project for the marketing for Tim Burton's next movie. Um, so that's a really, really exciting thing. And I haven't met him, but they're talking about working that out. and. I mean, obviously, he's such a massive inspiration. Her new book is already a bestseller called Deceptive Desserts, A Lady's Guide to Baking Bad. And while some of her projects take time, they don't require lots of money. It really depends on how much you want to spend. You can spend a bazillion dollars or you can go to Walmart and get basic groceries. Like, it really doesn't... You don't have to have a lot of money. I didn't have a lot of money when I was doing this entire book. Like, um, and everything building up to the book deal. Like, I didn't... I was really just scraping by. And as a result of her determination, Christine is experiencing overwhelming sweet success. I was never really much of a dreamer as far as like thinking incredible things were going to happen to me. I just, I'm just like everybody else and like I, I just got really lucky. Now McConnell will be in New York this Wednesday for a book signing and a demonstration. You can check out her at Williams-Sonoma at Columbus Circle from 5 to 7 p.m. Time now is 6.15.